call Elizabeth Crown, yeah. Things with me better, oh, oh, Mrs. Emma Elevator. No matter what the time or the weather, fly with the wind and we sing like a bird, yeah. Welcome, Pez fans, to the most anticipated tournament on the channel so far. 64 matches, 32 teams, 12 venues, 5 continents and 1 world championship. And before we step on the pitch of Sao Paulo, I've got a pitch of my own. Patreon. If you enjoy what I provide and want to ensure I thrive in the top flight, then please provide your support and help this club survive. YouTube Relegation. The sun shines down on a sunny Sao Paulo. 64 years after heartbreak on their own soil, Brazil will get another go round at lifting the World Cup in their own country. As they are about to commence match number one of 64. 200 million Brazilians standing still united across the country. Football prevails over all diversity in this gigantic yellow and green nation. We are in the way, the FIFA World Cup 2014 kicks off with Brazil versus Croatia. Into the feet of Fred of Fluminese. Comes on to Hulk. He cuts inside and fires a warning at Pleticosa. Far from a clean strike, but generating so much power. I'd hate to see what he's capable of when he's more comfortable. First corner kick sent in by Oscar. And it's null. It's played back for the first time across from Marcelo. Fred connects. In the eyes of Kovacic lights up as he finds Mintzirkic. With an opening when he has to work his way back to get back on track. Nobody in the box big enough to attack. Rakitic and Virgil Jaco having a little exchange. Mandzukic blinks and misses the cross. It's going to be another Croatian counter. Nice footwork from Modric and there is Kovacic. He's got a free ticket. And the face of Julio Cesar prevents the Croatians from scoring the first goal of the World Cup. Dario Serna to take the first Croatian corner. A little bit of pinball in the penalty area. Dani Alves reads Rakitic like a newspaper. Mandzukic sliding back into the Brazilian DMs. But it's incomprehensible. Croatia are reaching out to the Bulls' horns, but they haven't quite grabbed them yet. Rakitic takes this into his stride. There's the red and white shirts gathering in the box. Perisic perishes the fort of a goal. Brazil are dangling off a cliff. That's intercepted and the pressure continues. Rakitic, love and back to Rakitic. Smashes it into the ribs of Marcelo. When Zerkic clears some space for Perisic to hit it on the volley. Fortunately for Julio Cesar, it was with the less favoured foot of Ivan Perisic. But the hosts have barely traversed out of their own half in this second half. Oscar goes backwards to Marcelo. Oscar to the feet of Neymar. Goal! We are on the way! And the golden boy of Brazil has allowed 200 million Brazilians to exhale all at once. That goal will take a little bit of the pressure off. Croatia were crushing the Seleção until the Brazilian lead singer steps up and grabs the microphone when the rest of his squad forgot the lyrics. The incredible Hulk gets the hell out of the way and Neymar drills it into the wall of Pleticosa's home. Rakitic flicks it onto Mandzukic. Ambitious and unlucky. Croatia need to stop trying to score and actually try to score. Neymar squares it to Oscar. Releases Fred. He realises he doesn't have the legs to outrun this Croatian defence. Squares it. Neymar misses Fred. Brazil is searching for their second. They still can't breathe just quite yet, but Fred nearly poaches one at the near post. Gustavo knocks it back down into play to Paulinho. Hulk 
Well, he practically tried tossing it into the net with his foot. 20 long minutes remain. William down the line to Danny Alves. Plenty of space into the mixer. Neymar! Now it's time to party. The Celestial have declared the festival of football underway with a samba rendition from Neymar. The Brazilian boy band have the whole country marching to their beat. Precision ball in from Danny Alves. Neymar was the only option in that penalty area. Versus Jaco trying to initiate consolation time for Croatia. When Turkish misses and Badolce tries to keep it alive with the athletic attempt. Marcelo seeking goal number three. Neymar! Just one header away from a hat trick. Here we go, last chance for Croatia to take something, a crucial goal. Brought down by David Luiz. How on earth did David Luiz pull that off? No card in sight. It is Ivan Rakitic. Too much power, not enough placement. And Brazil kick off their own FIFA World Cup with a victory. Mexico and Cameroon collide here in Natal. Two nations adorned by a plethora of individual talent but never quite seem to live up to expectation in the FIFA World Cup. Mexico have not made it past around the 16th since their own World Cup in 1986. And perhaps this is the World Cup swan song of the legendary Samuel Leto. With Giovanni Dos Santos, he has to take on four rather large men by himself. Got a little bit excited, a little bit premature with that strike. Herrera. Javi Hernandez and Dos Santos linking up. There's a big gap between the midfield and that back line. Dos Santos ignores Javier Hernandez. He goes for glory himself. Well, that's it. Telepathically finds Macondo. And Chico Moting is denied. Meanwhile, Asuracote collects with the cross. Moting at the far post. It's stretched in past Guadalajara. Ochoa at the near post. Like a note with a boast under the Mexican bedroom door. That's a ball in with authority from Asuokoto. And Rodriguez is tall, but Chopa Moteng is even taller. Stood no chance. Lucanjo is shut down by Ponce, but here is Song. Is he going to pull the trigger? Skipped along the pitch. It's a great save from Ochoa. Now Cameroon have all the time to counter in the world. Macanto has found Samuel Ito with the perfect free pass. Can the living legend convert? And Ochoa spoils the occasion for the veteran. Ito sends it in for a Cameroonian encore. And Ochoa tips it over. He actually had more time than he realised to catch it comfortably. Sent in by Ito. Perry Wayne is chucked in. By Sally at the far post. Edgar Sally sadly sends Mexico to the bottom of Group A. And it's the indomitable Lions in their yellow shirts who fittingly share the spoils with Brazil on match day one. Edgar Sally, the first to react to Ochoa's parry. In the tall is Mexico nil, Cameroon two. The world champion Spain kick off their World Cup campaign the same way it ended four years ago against the Netherlands. The Dutch are arguably the greatest team never to win a World Cup. Andreas Iniesta made sure to sustain that unfortunate honour for Holland. Spain, formerly known as underachievers themselves, have done nothing but achieve great things. They successfully defended the European Championship. Can Spain be the first team since the hosts Brazil to defend and win the World Cup back to back. Oh, and Sillerton is lucky that Diego Costa was costly. Van Persie squaring off with PK. Van Persie beats him and nearly puts Ica Casillas in debt. Whistled past the captain. First real chance of the game, just over five minutes played. 
Jan March releases Iron Robin. Great save from Casillas. Nigel De Jong, Van Persie is back to Nigel De Jong. Wrong side of the goal net. Half the stadium thought that was a goal. Gerard Piquet in no man's land. He does a smart thing and shares it to a professional called Alonso. A player who can just about hit it from anywhere on earth. And he's just reminded Sillison of that. And Percy turning Sergio Ramos inside out. Schneider, good catch from Ica Casillas. Van Percy knocks it down. Oh, and Spain have got their laces crossed. Iron Robin capitalizes, and the Netherlands lead the world champions. And it's redemption for Iron Robin. That fateful failure to beat Ica Casillas in Soccer City four years ago, and he's done it tonight. With a little bit of assistance from a muddy minded Spanish defence, Ica Casillas nearly gets the jump on Iron Robin, though. Darryl Yanmart is played on! One on one with the keeper! What an intervention from Casillas! Dutch corner kick, four minutes left of the first half. Robin Van Persie! Nearly sent the Netherlands into a comfortable break. Would have been a great goal in rugby. Robin, superb cross, Van Persie's on the end of it. Once again, still got blanks in the chamber. Iniesta, the World Cup match winner four years ago. Xavi, Villa, David Silva. Slips on the banana at the crucial moment over the finish line. This is more like the Spain we recognise though, the Tiki Taka, Tiki Taka with a whip into the David Silva. Just over an hour played of the first marquee game of the World Cup. The World Champions are behind. Nearly fed a lifeline there. Xavi crosses in from the corner, David Villa with a spectacular equaliser. A volley from Villa. World Cup number three for that man. Xavi's cross misses everyone but their kid's boots. At least that's what they used to call him. Now he's a fully grown man showing the youth how it's done. He's still got it. Robin is released by Schneider. Iron Robin cuts inside. Iniesta. Juan Mata. Well, he escapes Juan Blah. Good save from Sillison. Juan Marta practically passes it into the palm of Jasper Sillison. Look at this though, there's enough spin to stop this from darting off into his own net. Two minutes left to stop his time, Memphis Depay to win it! And the body language says it all of the youngster. Nearly marks his World Cup debut with a winning goal against the world champions. It's a stalemate, but a thrilling one in the World Cup 2010 final rematch. Opportunity presents itself for one of these two teams to escape the dungeon of the group of death. Considering both Spain and the Netherlands have drawn, this will be the easiest fixture for both Chile and Australia. It only gets harder from here, so better make these points count. La Roja, as we all know, were World Cup dark horses in the real 2014. Sanchez has crossed in and stills panic. In Australian defence. Arangai. Isla. It's found its way to Diaz. Sanchez cuts inside to Arangai. Valdivia. Valdivia one on one with Ryan. And he puts it on Ryan's favourite side. Bresciano whips it across to Tim Cahill. He doesn't feel like using his feet. Valdivia nearly loses track of the layoff to Vidal, who makes the most out of it. Well, he just about smacks it before he was running out of road. Valdivia, almost a perfect pass to Vidal, but he has a return for it. Now he tries to keep the rally going. Oh, Sanchez! Point blank at the near post. Looked like Chile was running out of momentum, but Vidal provides near perfect service to Alexis Sanchez. Or's cross is shut down by Isla. 
Davidson keeps it alive. Oh, and Bravo's dropped it. He didn't close his mouth and the food fell from out of it. Tommy Orr from the set piece bends it. And Bravo with a good save. Australia so close to scoring the first free kick of the World Cup. Brilliant save from the Barcelona bound bouncer. Mark Milligan, well that's what you get for passing without looking. Well, Davia to Penelia. Really should be getting punished for that on the world stage. Cahill, surely a chance to steal it. Bresciano, it's all in your hands now, Mark Bresciano. It's soaked up by Medell, not quite. What is happening here in the Pantano Arena? It's another stalemate in the group of death. The Grim Reaper must patiently wait for one more match day. We go from the group of death to the group of life. Or if you like, the group of continental champions. Ivory Coast African Cup of Nations winners in 1992. Japan, four time champions of Asia. Third World Cup in a row for Ivory Coast. Yet to make it out of the group stage. Will this year be any different? Yaya Toure just squeezes the cross through. And Drogba hits it. Wilfred Bonnie has Nagatomo catching up to distract it. Best chance of the game so far. Yajida struggling to keep up with Javinho. He's giving Japan all kinds of nightmares. But still Javinho, Bonnie! And there's the breakthrough, first goal to the Ivory Coast. The Elephants join the Lions in taking a lead, representing Africa here at the World Cup in Brazil. The labour of the goal is credited to Jovinho, and it's a training ground cut back to Wilfred Bonny. It's a big ball in from Boca. Japan's defence leaves it, Bonny just misses. Wilfred Bonny to do the set piece duties. Not a lot to brag about there. Okazaki squares it to Akubo. Honda! It's low, but not very hard. The Sebi triggering the counter attack claws for the Samurais. And it's too long for a soccer. Maybe it's not the fullback has yielded. As Drogba comes across, Honda has equalised for the Samurais. And how does this happen? The Sabi's free pass dissipates into the air like a fart. But Akibo catches up because the Ivory Coast defence leaves it. And Honda has free reign for a free header. Good work from Akibo to cut inside. Here's Honda. Honda loves to hit them hard, but the body context is all wrong for that one. Boca squares it to Gradle. It's Gradle into the centre, Wilfred Bonnie on the knockback from Nagatomo. That was generous of him. And now Wilfred Bonnie is living the dream. He scores a brace in his World Cup debut. For all the technological advancements Japan have gave the world, they just need to invent a mind-reading machine because I would love to know what was going through the mind of Nagatomo when he nods this across the face of his own goal. Bonnie loses possession in his own area. Saito, Ivory Coast, the second African nation to begin their campaign with a win. It's been 16 years since Colombia appeared in the FIFA World Cup and 15 years since they won the Copa America on their own soil. Former European champions Greece back for their second World Cup in the world. It's Zuniga, the Neymar killer. Hamish Rodriguez on the turn and it's just tapped by Carnesis. To see this fairy stepping waiting for Maniatis. Just run the ball in. Can Quadrado beat Halibas to it? Well, he does, but not fairly. Free kick to Greece. The yellow card to match the colour of Quadrado's shirt. Free kick to Greece. Just over half an hour played. Kone! A glorious Greek goal from the set piece for Panagiotis Kone. 
The Gallon Lelkies have the lead in the World Cup of 2014. And what a way! Greece succumbs to a free kick from similar age. 15 years ago, scored by a man known as David Beckham. You may have heard of him. Levas drills in the low cross. And Espinha flaps at it. Colombia are being humbled by Haas. Carlos Sanchez opens fire. Carnesis crawls the damage. And Gutierrez can't follow up. World Cup Dark Horses Colombia fall to Greece. Both England and Italy are hardly going to look back on their last World Cup appearance with much fondness. England were destroyed by Germany but set the precedent for the need for goal line technology. And while Italy were the defending world champions, they were humbled by Slovakia and dumped out of the group stage, dignifying the champion's curse. And the last time these two sides met in international competition, two years ago at Euro 2012. A goalless draw which saw a Frankenstein England team eliminated on penalties. Italy went on to be the runners-up of the European Championships. Balotelli, excellent ball to Marquisia. Jackie Alka reads him like a book. But that clearance is weaker than a sheet of paper in a shower. Verratti, Jackie Alka again, sticks the foot out. This time Joe Hart has his back. Well struck by Giorgio Chiellini of all players. Chiellini to take the corner. Oh, Balotelli, shut down on the goal line. Opportunity for Italy from a set piece. Chiellini lumps it in. Kondreva makes contact. Balotelli waiting for support from Chiellini Contreva again can't keep the ball down England advancing here Gerard leading the charge Gerard Buffon has to stretch to keep it out vintage velocity from Steven Gerard that will keep the 36 year old keeper on his toes Pirlo looks left goes right to Balotelli Balotelli not hard enough to bother Hart. Daniel Sturridge trying to slow down time. He finds Jordan Henderson. Sucked up. Baines with the ball in. Well back at the far post. Sturridge can't bring it down. Duossi clears in the field and Mario Balotelli has the park to himself. Cahill trying to keep up. Balotelli turns him inside out. Pirlo! Wow! World Cup excitement! Joe Hart with the save of a lifetime! Pirlo delivers. The play volleyball in the air and Marquisio puts a stop to the game of Keepy Uppy with a bicycle kick that Joe Hart couldn't stop. Italy have the breakthrough in the FIFA World Cup of 2014 between England and the Azuri. That stunning save, preventing a stunning goal from Joe Hart was short-lived. And as you can see here, it actually takes a deflection off the face of Leighton Baines. Or rather the shoulder blade. Wayne Rooney trying to carry England on his back. Chiellini denies Sturridge. Balotelli slams on the bricks. Provides the ball himself, but Pirlo's not tall enough. And Leighton Baines only runs into his own net. Jordan Henderson reorients himself. There's a knockdown from Sturridge to Sterling. Rapid fire start to the second half. And Mooney eats the foul. A yellow card for Daniel De Rossi. Nowhere near the ball on this occasion. Mooney sends it forward. Buffon spills it. And Welbeck nearly taps it into an empty net. Something startles Buffon here that causes him to spill it. Gerard takes the corner and Rooney flies through the air. Doesn't make enough contact on the ball. Nice footwork from Sturridge. De Rossi is left in the dust. Rooney. Rooney! If it wasn't for Buffon, Italy will be behind. Well taken hit from Wazza. 
Here's Gerard. Glanced away. Henderson on the volley has spiralled in the air and into the hands of Buffon. Just coming up to the hour now. Are England warming up? Italy's defence still has a strong grip. Chamberlain. Fretted for Tavuni! 1 1! England level the playing field, and who else would it be? But Wayne Rooney doesn't have the most prolific goal scoring record at World Cups, but he does all right on our channel. However, Italy paid the price for unfinished defending, and the substitute Alex Oxley Chamberlain justifies his debut with an assist. And Draver slips it to Balotelli. Marquisio! Solid save from Joe Hart. I like it though, Isley keeping it simple with his passion to play here. Lane Baines does some good covering to prevent any poachers. Oh, De Rossi loses for that exchange. Sturridge. Henderson, last roll of the dice for England perhaps. Pillow intercepts and it's in Italy's hands. Cassano is away. Jackie Alka trying to keep up. Cahill coming across. Antonio Cassano does not beat Joe Hart at the near post and it's all over what an exciting one all draw well it's the two dark horses who as we know buried the favourites England and Italy in the real world cup Uruguay of course reaching the dizzying heights of the semi-finals of the last world cup Perez goes down like a sack of spice now Pereira trying to carry it on Kayla Navas is comfortable. Well, Diego Perez is shut down and that could lead to a counter attack for Costa Rica. It's John Campbell. He's almost away with Godin trying to keep up. Oh, Miss Lara saves the day. Maybe Joel Campbell took too long. Corner kick from Ryan Luis. And there's the first goal. It's Diaz. Well, are Costa Rica attempting to imitate the real events? Well, 2014, they're going the right way about it. Good start. Solid header from Junior Diaz. Good dribbling from Barantes. And that's a brilliant pass from the playmaker to Sean Campbell. Well, it's Campbell nil and the lower two. Pereira with a big swing and cross into Diego Forlan. Cavani squares it to Pereira. It's the second Costa Rican corner. Luis. Campbell with a flip. Well, that's three promising chances for Joel Campbell so far. Diego Calabar. Uruguay really struggling against these pacey Costa Rican wingers. Forland freed up on the right-hand side. Cuts inside. Trademark missile from Diego Forland. Cavani. Against some other players, found Diego Forlan. Forlan, let's fire! It's another productive save from Kayla Navas. The angle was getting tighter for Forlan. Luis, release, untamed, and he goes down. Campbell carries on! Campbell finally tucks it past Miss Lara. It seemed like it was never going to happen. Well, Joel Campbell, property of Arsenal. Benefited by just about every other club in Europe. Has tightened Costa Rica's grip on this game. Gotta love the technique. He passes it to Amoslera's right side. Pereira, Bola, Luis Suarez goes down. And it's waved off. No penalty. Now you tell me, is this a penalty? Because Amana clearly gets nowhere near the ball here. Takes a chunk of Suarez, this knee ligament style. Pereira squares it to Ramirez. Changes his mind, back to Pereira. 20 minutes to go for Uruguay to get back in, there's Cavani! Cavani drills it hard enough that Kayla Navas and his wobbly hands couldn't keep it out. The Paris Saint-Germain pointer, Edison Cavani. With a combination of genius and luck has brought Uruguay back into the competition. And for all the great saves Kevin Navas has made today, he will be disappointed with that. 
Ramirez is through it. Ramirez! Smashed it so hard the camera couldn't keep up. But it's confirmed it was a save from Navas. We start by Luis. Luis goes inside, stays on his feet. And it's a conversion by Jose Miguel Cabrero. Costa Rica put Brini space between themselves and the first ever world champions here in the white. Brian Ruiz, a breakout star of the Real World Cup, is establishing why here. Cabrera, Ruiz, he's back to Lugano, and he's put down by Lugano. Free kick to Costa Rica. Brian Ruiz, sensational. And that's surely going to secure a man of the match display for Brian Ruiz. Provider and goal scorer. The world is watching. And Fulham may be scrambling to recall him back from line. It's well taken, especially from the near post on the left foot. Two stunning free kick goals scored so far in this World Cup. Well, it's a cause for celebration. Costa Rica sit above England and Italy. France have a lot of making up to do since the last time they was at this tournament. A humiliating and unprofessional experience for players and fans alike. Didier Deschamps insists this is a rebuilding period. In four years time, France's golden generation will have their turn to take over the world. But first, it starts with taking on Honduras back for their second World Cup in a row. Honduras participating in their third World Cup alongside Switzerland for the second year in a row. And Griezmann has broken on three. Antoine Griezmann in this World Cup debut fires it against the shins of the goalkeeper. Pogba looking long for Benzema. He tries to knock it out, but there's no water in the pool. Pogba dispossesses Bengston. Takes the shot and scores! From under 30 yards out, Paul Pogba with a pile driver in Porto Alegre. What a goal to mark your World Cup debut with. The pass comes way too short for Isaguer. Pogba takes the money and runs and shares the profits with his teammates and supporters. We can watch this all day long. From the Manchester United reject and Juventus Diamond. Barbuena Coles win it. Valadares with a spectacular save. Espinosa first corner of the game for Honduras. Well, it was almost beginner's luck. First goal from the first corner. Goodbye, waits patiently for Griezmann to join the session. It's back to goodbye. Squares it to Benzema, Griezmann back to Karim! King Karim Benzema makes it two! Some redemption for South Africa is in order. For Karim Benzema, one of France's finest productions, the Real Madrid legend, writes his name in a visiting book of Brazil 2014. Beautiful interplay from Le Blues. Isaguer splays it out wide to Garcia. Garcia gets the ball in, costly. It bounces just in front of Hugo Luis, and the follow up was costly. Hugo Luis with his yet to do their impersonation. Delgado, costly overlaps. Delgado is unmarked in the middle. Costly sure was cutting it fine, squaring it back to Delgado, but he got there in the end. Honduras issue a challenge to France. Game on here in Porto Alegre. Giroud stabs it onto the fullback. Matthew Debucci whips one in, and Griezmann is on the end of it. Two goals from two World Cup debutants. Antoine Griezmann joins Paul Pogba. It's all a part of Deschamps' plan. The investment's paying off. Well, that result should carry some favour in the opinion polls for France.
We are in the nation's capital of Brasilia at the Estadio Mario Corincia. And the mean named after the legendary showboater himself. Switzerland and Ecuador are two familiar attendees at these World Cup finals. They make regular appearances this side of the century. Dermich does his best. Grandpa Simpson impersonation. 360 degrees back to Stocker. Rami. Shaka stepping over the Ecuadorian minefield. Releases Dermich. Good save from the keeper. Roman Shakiri fires the top corner. Through the Ivan Needle. And Switzerland take the early lead. A lead so early, in fact, that qualifies as the fastest goal of the World Cup so far. A great stop initially from Dominguez to prevent Dermich from scoring an even faster goal, but Vernon Shakiri didn't lack too far behind. Tremendous composure, tremendous coordination. Look at the placement, not even two goalkeepers would stop this. Castillo. 1-2, now it's Rojas, Jaru guesses wrong, Rojas, and Ayavai slips it in from the tightest angle you will ever see, back to square one here in Brasilia, Walter Ayavai, Castillo and Rojas lay the foundations and Ayavai with a poacher's finish. It's a tight angle, but yes, he should be converting them on the world stage. Now the Ecuadorians trying to catch up with Rodriguez, Shakiri, and the touch lets him down. Long ball from Valencia. It's landed in the lap of Casado. It's too good to be true though, offside. Only just literally a foot off. Stocker spreads it out, Rodriguez. Greenish shackle on the volley. Tried to wrap his piece around it. It's Ivar, Montero. Joey misses it. And Enna Valencia tries to come backwards to make contact with the ball. Shaka. And Dermich has just escaped. Well timed run from Joseph Dermich. It ends as a draw here in Brasilia. Well, it wouldn't be a World Cup without the blue and white of the Argentines. The Arba Celeste kick off their World Cup where it would culminate in real life. The venue with the final at the Maracanã, they host newcomers Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina make their long-awaited FIFA World Cup debut since their independence. Now the question is, can Lionel Messi, the greatest player of our generation, lift the World Cup? Romero shuts Jekko down as soon as he gets ideas. Lionel Messi unleashed on the Bosnians. It's up in the sky for Higuain. Mirla Pjanic will be familiar to Roma and Lyon fans. Potentially breaking the knuckles of Romero. Higuain. Here's Sergio Maguire. Messi takes a touch. Blasted at Begovic. And kisses the goalpost on the way. The captain nutmegs another captain. Through the legs of Sparhitch. Great opportunity. Something tells me Lionel Messi is going to be more than a handful for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Higuain can direct his head on target. It's almost at volley height. Pjanic turns, crosses, whistles past everyone. Zabaleta leaves it and Lulic is going to pick off where they left off. Dzeko cancelled out by Fernandez, But they've been given assurance from Izzet Haivovic. Who has made history? Bosnia Herzegovina's first ever goal of the World Cup is brought to you courtesy of the Galatasaray midfielder Izet Haimovic. Federico Fernandez's heart was in the right place with his clearance, but it lands in the lap 
of the 22-year-old Haimovic. It's down to Sergio Aguero to reduce the panic for the Abbas Celeste. Messi catches the studs on the way through. Aguero slams on the brakes, cuts inside with the ball into Higuain. Where's the closest he's come? Another golden opportunity presents itself for the Lilies. Pjanic, he goes for goal. Never mind all that nonsense about crossing it in. He's going for glory. And Romero was on red alert. Just under a minute left of the first half. Higuain has found Messi. Well, that's what you get for being too graceful. Hirovic, the goal scorer. Pjanic. Back to Hirovic. Pjanic carries on his run, doesn't need to. Because is it Hirovic was on a par for his brace there? Gets closer every time you watch it. Oh, here comes Mushka down the flank. Benz went into Jekka. Just coming up to an hour play, then Argentina are being starved for goal mouth action. Higuain gets a good save. Where we're watching the run of Di Maria. Angel Di Maria taking advantage of the space. Messi's in the centre. 1 1. The King takes his chance, Lionel Messi. The man who's won just about everything in football, apart from the big one, taking agency over his country's destiny. The first step is righting the wrong of Bosnia and Herzegovina's lead over the favourites. And Di Maria puts this on the plate for the young legend, Lionel Messi. Medianin. Screaming on the right hand side, Jekko misses it, and Lulic spoons it behind the ad boards. What a chance! Well, Bosnia are coming to play some football indeed. Messi watching the run of Lavetti. Lavetti cuts inside. Oh! It looked like he was going nowhere. The deflection took all the sting out of it, but even then, honeybees still sting when they're dead. Two minutes left. Perez, that's washed away. Gargo, oh, it's whistled in. Argentina have snuck the goal over the border. Brazil's fiercest rivals have taken the lead in their home stadium. And it's Fernando Ruben Gargo with the phantom volley. Takes a deflection of the forehead. Of the unfortunate Onion Vermanes. Argentina best hang on for dear life. The comeback is all but complete. What a game here in Rio de Janeiro. Argentina turned the game around. Iran are back for their fifth World Cup. Nigeria have only missed one World Cup since their debut in 1994. And with Argentina's comeback in mind, both teams need to take the opportunity to build some momentum for the Abba Celeste. Bloody commencing a dangerous attack for Iran. Shojiai! He's tucked it in! He's only a few seconds short of Switzerland's fastest goal ever in this tournament so far. Nonetheless, it's a shock lead. Vincent Nyema farting his brain off as he runs out to close down the striker. Shafi, director, gets the ball back. Here's a good start for Iran. But Shafi! Oh! It was almost a complete replica of Masood Shota Hayes opening goal. MNK. Odin Wingy. And he's released. Musa. Musa! It's well scouted by Hagigi. Armin oh, Musa should have levered it. Shota Hayes. Retzer, he gets inside, it's Retzer! And Yema read it all the way to the end of the chapter. Mahini to take the corner. Oh, it's a second for Iran here in Kotiba. Why did he have to score? I really don't want to have to pronounce that last name. Sorry, Retzer, but we're going to stick with Retzer. As it stands, Iran are putting an end to the African continent's run of form so far.
Necking on with a bit of glorious folly. Looks like he's trying to impersonate Maxi Rodriguez against Mexico in 2006. Odomini's ball is soaked up. Red is cut short. And that's it. Oh, he draws it away from the feet of the defender. the wingy into the middle to Victor Moses and the Obi's on the wide side of the box it's a consolation or is it a challenge to Iran Nigeria get back in the game Shola Amiobi formerly of Newcastle United Montezeri trying to get it before other wingy does he fails Amiobi oh cracks the post what an impact he's made since coming on Iran's first World Cup win since 1998. Salvador hosts their second big match of the World Cup. Champion Spain and the Netherlands how to a one all draw here early on in the tournament. And now they host two more of the world's elite. Germany versus Portugal. Of course, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo must have a friendly way to going about who's going to lift the World Cup first before Ironman retires. Germany would enjoy their football in Renaissance starting in 2006 and as we all know, would become the fateful winners of 2014. Gadira combining with Ozil. Oh, Thomas Muller! Testing Patricia to see if he was paying any attention. This is what Germany are capable of. Efficient migrants of the football. And made that wide, really should be in the centre. Pereira looking for Ronaldo. It bounces just over the head of Manuel Neuer. Wherever Almeida was in the world, it didn't matter then. Morales beats Kroos. Nani releases Almeida. Neuer has to react and he does! Off his line quicker than the spit. Gets a sandwich between Bruno Alves and Gian Pereira. Never mind, because Ertel will swing went into Muller! Germany score! Well, we need to dial it back because Thomas Muller is offside. Thomas Muller is two football players offside. Also to take Germany's first corner. Kroos unleashes into the bread basket of Patricia. Fast and furious first 10 minutes. Oh, Mertesack has played it into the hands of Ronaldo. Superb reaction from Manuel Neuer, avoiding disaster for the sake of Per Mertesacker. Kroos pulls the trigger. Patricio shuts that one down. A Quentrao corner. Alves scuffles it. Morales excellently plays ball to Almeida. Hummels trying to slow down Morales as best as he can. Oh, Ronaldo preempts it. We are in Cristiano country. Another World Cup, another Ronaldo free kick. Ronaldo! Everything was perfect about it, apart from the notion there was a goalkeeper between those sticks. It's collected by Kroos. Kroos! Nani's thinking what Almeida is thinking. Slows the play down, Almeida is through! So far it's Neuer 3, Almeida 0. Hugo Almeida can't figure out this German shot stopper. Quintrao, second corner, alarm knocked away. Ramirez on the volley. Almeida passes it on to CR7. Ronaldo! Close. Chance for Zinter itself for Die Mannschaft. And closer whiffs it. Closer trying to bring it down to Kreis, but Almeida reads it. Here we go, Helder Postiga. All by himself. He nails it. 
Apartment Benton Super Substitution pays off. Held down by Steger. A veteran of the national side has come good here in Salvador. What a pass from Morales. Deceives Mats Hummels just enough for Helder Postiga to practice his skills in clinical fashion. Manuel Neuer is going to concede at some point. Just so it happens to be against the second best team in the group. Morales. Ronaldo turns Kadira inside out. Ronaldo! Oh. Trademark trespassing from Cristiano Ronaldo. Portugal's name has been written all over this second half. Nani nearly acquires two goals to show for it. Last roll of the dice for Germany. Closer, knocks it down to Schweinsteiger. It's tucked away by Patricia. Maybe Bashi and Schweinsteiger was inspired by Fernando Ruben Gago's last minute winner from that same volley. Last chance for Germany. Schweinsteiger with Fernand. Good, sir. It's all over, Portugal have the revenge on Germany for Euro 2008. In 2010, the United States was eliminated by Ghana in the round of 16. And then Ghana were cruelly tossed out by Uruguay. So to suggest both teams have unfinished business in more ways than one is an understatement. Barateng. At two. Up the line to Tian. Beckerman beats up two to that one. And Zuzi pelts one in to Bradley. Probably going to be the biggest man in Ghana's penalty area tonight. Medoya hits that first time for Dempsey. Clear the way. Second attempt from Medoya. And Dempsey tries to flick it over the head of the keeper. Are you? Cross is soaked up by the axe. Here's Mantari. And if he wasn't aware, he has a hard shot. Sully Mantari. Back to Jonathan Mensah. John Boye. Oh, Dempsey nearly has a word or two with him. Boutoy gives it back to Dempsey. And that capitalizes on catastrophic gun in defending Clint Dempsey for the United States of America. The former Fulham favourite has gifted the Yankee Doodles a lead here in the top. John Boyer paying the ultimate price for complacent defending. Are you? Tries to share with Asamoah John. Sustains his footing under the testament of Cameron. Wait, he's crossed the line to Marcus Beasley. Is the man at fault? And just like that, Ghana have equalised. Demarcus Beasley cancels out. Clint Dempsey's opening goal. Just in case you need assurance. Yes, he crosses the line. Tim Howard tries as he might to hide it. Kyle Beckerman snuffed out by the keeper. Damien Johnson slamming on the brakes for Dempsey. It's gone in! Well, it seems to be one example of complacency after the other. And this time, Quarase fails with his limp wrists at the near post. Barbatek. Oh, he takes a good first touch. John nearly slots it under the body of Tim Howard. And Charlie spits it out wide. That's the moment. Oh, what a conversion! Christian Atsu, brilliant volley at the near post. I cannot understate the difficulty of such a volley. I'm sure that one caught Tim Howard unaware. Splat, what a goal. It's been a eventful fixture. To say the least between the United States and Ghana. Rematch of 2010. Beasley. It's punched away by Kwarase. Demarcus Beasley trying to redeem himself for the second attempt on the assist, and he does. 
The bald head of Michael Bradley knocks the USA in front. Demarcus Beasley probably felt like he had some making up to do after conceding that own goal. Five goal thriller here in the top. Twenty fourteen, the year the golden generation of Belgium manifested itself in international tournaments for the first time since two thousand and two. The Red Devils host El Cadra returning for the second World Cup in a row. Sofian Faguli has put it on the plate to Sidani. Great covering from Courtois. On second thoughts, is this a penalty against Thomas van Arlen? Does he get the ball first or Sidani's calf? Voila, to send one in for the Algerians. Morris takes it on the volley. Courtois spills it. Fellaini linking up with Lukaku. Brought down. Free kick against Halice. Yellow card. Eden Hazard steps forward. Eden Hazard clears the wall, but it's a comfortable save for Bolhi. Hazard holds up play, squares it to Marouane Fellaini. Lukaku! Good stretch from the keeper. Mahrez surrounded by three red shirts. It's all in the hands of Sidani now. He ain't fooling Courtois. Witzel back to Hazard. Searching for Lukaku. He'll be counting on the power of the Everton striker. Mahrez again releases Sidani. Courtois preempts it. Yellow card for the Atletico Madrid shot stopper. Very lucky not to see red here. That was Galan. Nothing to worry about. De Bruyne. Morales. Fellaini charging down into the centre. Lukaku. Finally, a Belgian breakthrough here in Belo Horizonte. Belgium take the lead through the skin of their teeth. Algeria were knocking on that back door. And luckily for Belgium, their security systems kept them in check. Into the centre to Lukaku. Hazard spilled by the keeper. Mustafa, the black heel to Yeboda. And Faguli has a chance to equalise. Good work from the Desert Foxes of Algeria. Kevin De Bruyne trying to pick his moment. And he releases Divo Karigi. Intercepted by Mbali. Karigi squares it to De Bruyne. Chadley very close to rounding off Belgium's win with a 2 0 victory. It's now time for the final. The final good game of match day one, that is. Russia will have their turn to host the World Cup in four years' time. And for now, they take on South Korea on the other side of the world. Zergaev. Kurtikov. Now him and Zergaev playing pass to pass. Kurtikov rattles the goalpost. The crashing of the goalpost reverberating around the Pantanal Arena. Vizilin watches the bodies hit the floor as Kurzakov this time finds the back of the net. The goalpost makes another cameo appearance. But the plot twist comes in the form of Young Sung Mion's flesh. A cruel rebound after the woodwork. Actually comes off the buttocks of the goalkeeper. How's that for humiliation? Russia take a free lead in Kweber. He's been helped on free to Kurtikov again. Kurtikov! And this time the keeper stands his ground. Samadov can be well away now for the Russians. And the keeper's made a mishap. South Korean catastrophe! Kurtukov gets his first official goal of the day. 
being that his opener is awarded as an own goal to the keeper. South Korea are shambolic. Park Ji Young with an advance. Cuts inside. Plays it back to Sun. Finds his way to Fazili. Another well timed pass to Kershakov. Converted by Kershakov. And the Russians are dominating South Korea. The Zabonia has outscored the Belgians. They were surely top group H. South Korean Lions have to dig themselves out of a deep grave. Park Ji Young to start the climbing process. Park Ji Young! Well, the damage control has been initiated. Every goal does indeed count in the group stages. For now, they will have to build off that goal as they take on Algeria next. Excellent start from Mother Russia. They top Group H. Let's take a look at the results. Business as usual for the hosts. Brazil, top of Group A. Group B characterised by draws all across the board. In the group of life, Ivory Coast and Greece have planted their seeds and will flourish. Costa Rica destroy Uruguay to surpass England and Italy. As expected, France have the perfect start in Group E. Argentina profit from their last minute goal, they are top of Group F. The eventual world champions Germany, bottom of Group G. And Russia, the hosts of the next World Cup, ahead of Group H favours Belgium on goal diff. Your top goal scorers are never going to be conclusive on match day one, so it's only fair to include everybody who scored a brace in their opening games of the World Cup. And of course, the golden boy Neymar would be among them. And finally, the 2014 World Cup is here. So, so many of you have waited patiently and requested this tournament. So you tell me, did it live up to expectations so far? Let's have a good old fashioned survey. Let me know in the comments below what was the best match, best goal and the best player of match day one of the World Cup.